I'm Prashansa, the CEO. This is Pujita, the CTO, Aina, the CMO, and Will, the CFO. And we're Teacher Connect. I work with an organization called America Counts, which is a program where college students go to an elementary school and mentor fourth graders in math. During my time there, I met Mr. Troy Anderson, who is a veteran teacher at Beacon Heights Elementary School. As an education major, I wanted to know a real teacher's perspective of the teaching profession. So I asked Mr. Anderson about his experience. He told me he faced many challenges, such as managing the classroom, getting little to no support from the school staff, and time-consuming lesson planning. However, he was able to overcome these problems because of a mentor teacher he had. He even told me, I wouldn't be sitting here with you if it weren't for my mentor teacher. These challenges faced by Mr. Anderson are prevalent among many new teachers and are even magnified in Title I schools, which are schools in low-income areas. Usually, veteran teachers tend to teach in higher income areas, leaving Title I schools, such as those in Prince George's County, with inexperienced, underqualified teachers. There are 127 elementary schools in Prince George's County, and in these schools, over 40% of the teachers have fewer than five years of experience. As a result, students in these schools are not getting equal access to experienced, qualified teachers, putting them at a disadvantage. Introducing Teacher Connect. Teacher Connect is a website that provides support to new and experienced teachers through mentorship and materials. When teachers subscribe to our site, they gain access to a database of worksheets and unit plans that are aligned to the Common Core Standards, which are implemented in PG County schools. They will also be matched with a mentor teacher that will give them advice and strategies to use in the classroom. As a result, <coughs> teachers will be able to spend less time lesson planning, create more effective lesson plans, and be more effective in general. And as a result, students will be able to have access to more qualified teachers. Our main competitor is Teachers Pay Teachers, a site where teachers can buy materials from other teachers. Our differentiating factor is that we provide mentorship, which no other product does. So we expect teachers to use our product over others because we're providing both the mentorship and the materials. We have already gained much traction over the past several months. In the 36 teachers we have already interviewed, 20 said they would be interested in subscribing to our product online, and three said that they would be interested in becoming mentors. So in the beginning, we'll be primarily targeting elementary school teachers in Prince George's County. Uh, we'll be charging them a $15 a month base subscription, which will include access to our database of worksheets, um, as well as unlimited downloads. Uh, if they choose to get a mentor, which will be optional, they'll instead be charged a $37 a month premium subscription. Now, the subscription fees will uh, be our primary source of revenue, which will go into paying for uh, like operations, such as the mentor teacher stipends. Um, in the first year alone, uh, from just a basic subscription, we plan to uh, pull in $27,000 in revenue, which includes uh, reaching 300 uh, subscribers. And in year five, after we expand to all of PG County, and in addition to Montgomery County, we expect a revenue of $779,000. So for our first stage, we're asking for $5,000. This is a breakdown. 4,000 of it will go into initiating operations, uh, such as seeking out teachers and start, uh, starting to pay them to create and upload worksheets so that uh, people will have something to subscribe to. Teacher Connect provides new teachers with the necessary support to become effective and qualified teachers, thus mitigating the, the achievement gap and the education gap by helping to improve student overall performance in the classroom. With your help, we can help to address 3.1 million teachers nationwide, thus helping to improve the education of 83.7 million students. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions? We're Teacher Connect. How are you going to recruit and vet your mentors? So, okay. So we are promoting our pro uh, our product in educational conferences, such as the ASCD Conference for Teaching Excellence, and we will also be presenting it at uh, professional teacher development workshops. And we will be personally going into schools to inform teachers about our product and recruiting mentors there. Process? 
Yeah, so there are requirements for to be a mentor. Um, to be a mentor teacher, you need to have over 10 years of teaching experience. So when you mentor a new teacher or an, ex an, or an inexperienced teacher, you actually know what they're doing. And they also have to show dedication and commitment because this is, you, you can't have a mentor teacher that just flakes out on you know the inexperienced teachers because they do need that support. So we we are we when we uh, recruit mentor teachers, we are looking for dedicated ones that actually are passionate about helping the new teachers. How, how much mentoring uh, is enough? Say per week. Do you know? Two hours a week? Is it an hour a month? Um, we don't exactly know how many men how many hours of mentorship is enough, um, but right now we have it we have it set uh, we have a mentor teacher ratio of about six to one, and we expect uh, the teachers to be using uh, about like four to five hours a month. Do you, do you see yourself as a, a continuing to go down the teacher training route, or do you really see yourself um, thinking about a peer-to-peer -peer training model? Um, well, both it's, answers are right. <laughs> it's, uh, well, I guess, like, part of our, like, half of our entire service is, like, peer-to-peer -peer mentoring, but um, we also like to keep uh, the other half, we also like to emphasize that like the other half is uh, making like new teachers and, or even like experienced teachers, like make them, uh, make their like daily activities and lesson planning uh, more convenient because we're there to provide uh, the database of materials and the lesson plans uh, and the unit plans. So we're, we're doing both. Sorry, I have two questions. Um, maybe that's ignorance. My kids are out of school or in, in college or past, but lessons plan and all this doesn't exist already in school, is the first question. And then these are targeted to public school teachers and low income. They would pay out of their own pocket, or are you getting the, the schools involved? So, for the first part of the questions, teachers do have to make their own lesson plans. Um, they get standards on what they have to make lesson plans about, but they have to spend their own time researching and gathering the materials that, yeah. Yeah, so it's very time consuming. Um, and for the second part, we were initially thinking about getting the school involved because we, we didn't want teachers to pay out of their own pocket, but at the same time, it would be a difficult process for to convince the county board to actually um, buy our products, so we are starting with the teachers, and um, if hopefully when we get the interaction, we can convince the county board to act um, to buy. So how are you going to measure impact to those kind of piloted teachers who self-pay to convince the boards? What's, what, what are your measures? So we have um, several measures. One would be time spent lesson planning. We would basically survey the teachers who bought our um, service. Um, we would survey them on how much time they spent before using our service and then after using our service. Another one would be test scores. Even though we don't want that to be a prim like a primary measure, we definitely want to see student improvement um, after using our service because that lets us know that our, our product is working for the teachers. And then others would be the teacher retention rate, which in the first few years, is the teacher burnout is actually really high because of the, all the responsibilities they have. So uh, we want to go to the schools that we have marketed to and see how much teachers have stayed before using our service and then after. Yeah. Thank you guys.